Right in here is Washburn State Park. A lot of people have spent a lot of time actually camping Washburn State Park. It's just north of the lighthouse, the Cedar Head Lighthouse, about two miles, a mile and a half. Then we go down this big long road, we're driving towards the Hasita Head Lighthouse. And there's Hobbit Trail. I don't usually take it. It's overrun with tourists every day because there's a parking lot. So, I don't know. There's so many videos on YouTube about Hobbit Trail, it's overblown. So people who have never been there think, oh, I need to go experience the Hobbit Trail one time in my life. And you get there and it's a short little trail that goes through these, you know, short sticks, which is kind of cool, but I mean, it's nothing spectacular. And you go down in and then there's just this cove beach and there's 300 people standing there staring at you. And all these tourists, they don't know if you just go one mile north, it's exact same ocean, wide open beaches. Right here's the Hobbit Trail. Wide open beaches, one mile north, you'll be completely alone all by yourself. Not another person around. And then on the weekends, especially, you know, in the summer, just you're all alone on this beach. I know, I've done it hundreds of times. And one mile south of me is 300 people. <laughs> all jammed into this cove called Hobbit Beach because it's overblown on YouTube. I'm fascinated by human behavior. Some people would call it stupidity. Not me, I would never ever do that. That would be rude. All right, I'll drive you down to the town. Right now, we're right above the Hasita Head Lighthouse. Like right, this green sign right there. You could technically hike through the woods there, falling and stumbling and sinking through the wet green. <laughs> or you could just take the trail. But if you go right there, you can see the... Um, top of the lighthouse. Right there's the turn for it. Right there, people park in that parking lot because they don't want to pay the $5 fee to go into the lighthouse. Because they're not smart enough to buy an Oregon Pacific annual passport for $35 a year. We'll get you into almost everything on the entire Oregon coast for an entire year for only $35. There's some guy on the YouTube's got crazy videos about that tunnel. He always keeps yelling and hawking in them. He's got this coconut head called Captain Wonderful. Have you ever seen that guy on YouTube screaming in that tunnel? I hear that guy's a real weirdo. So here's a lighthouse overlook. Very foggy. Can't even see the lighthouse, actually. Then we go up here. Read the sign right there. Sea Lion Caves, one-fourth of a mile. World's largest porta potty right there.
people will spend a hundred thousand dollars on a fifth wheel to shower, eat, and go to the bathroom. <laughs> There's the um, sea lion caves. Look at how foggy it is. You can't even see the building hardly. And then the fog over the side, over the edge. Look at that, right in the ocean. Wow, cool. Like I said, it's so beautiful here. Sometimes I can't even believe I get to live here. Like I tell you guys, all you people back in the Midwest where I grew up, you're, you're watching my videos. I never say it. I never claim to be smarter than you. In fact, I claim to be the dumbest one in the group. So how come I get to live here and you got to live in snow land? It's going to start snowing several feet here for four months. And you're going to be miserable. And you know it. So why am I here and you, who I actually credit for being smarter than me, you're not here. Well, Jesus Christ brought me out here, but I grew up around a, a lot of people who were full of fear. <clears throat> they had a lot of fears in their life. They were afraid if they leave where they're at, leave their house payment, leave their current job, even though they saved a bunch of money, they cashed out on their house and got like 70,000 profit in this economy. If they've had their house over 10 years, yeah. They're scared to death if they come to their dream location, they're not gonna be able to make it. They won't be able to survive. And I do blame our parents somewhat for that. Even my parents, God bless them, I love both of them very much. They were both my best friends. I was the child that got along great with my parents. I mean, it's rare that a child just loves their parents and gets along with them. But even my parents told me, you better get a job, buy a house, stay in Iowa the rest of your life, work until you're 70, and then die. That, you know, it's that mentality. That's what you got in life. You better appreciate it. Stop complaining and get up at 4.30 a.m. <laughs> for the next 60 years. So I told my parents, I said, I'm going to move to the Rocky Mountains. There was this big gasp. What? Why would you do that? So I moved to the Rocky Mountains for nine years. And my parents were like, wow, if that idiot can do it, he's, he's not even our smartest child. And then I moved to the Oregon coast. And my mom, she wasn't even alive then. Even my dad was like, why'd you go out there? I thought you had a good thing going in the in Colorado. It's this fear, this fear mentality that you can't survive. You can't take all your self-worth and all your skills to another location and use them over there. No, if you leave Iowa, you have to leave your skills and everything back in Iowa, it's a state law. 